When I first came to the um, college, though, in the campus, what really struck me was what still strikes me. It's a very, a very um, welcoming community. It felt like community here. And it felt very much like a culture that I needed to be a part of. And that was palpable from the beginning, from my first interview and stepping foot on campus. There's something pretty auspicious and beautiful about this setting, about this campus. It's, a, it's got some sacred space qualities to it that are very tangible. Uh, the dean role that I took on, of uh, the person who had been in the role, Jack Ullum, and before that, Jack Friedlander, so some real important legacy figures there. Jack Ullum was our director of our music department and chair and the director of the symphony for 30, almost 30 years before he became dean. And before that, our executive vice president, Jack Friedlander, had been in this dean role. And I say all that to say because it, it, it kind of grew and accumulated departments and divisions uh, before I got here. So when I got here, the legacy from them was that I was a dean with uh, the English division, with the Learning Resource Center, with the Honors Program, with all of the arts, the arts programs, with ESL, with all the social science departments. So a lot of different departments and a lot of different faculty. And that remained the same for the whole time I was here. There are many people who made a huge impact and, and our colleagueship was really important. People like Kathy Malloy, who is now in the dean position behind me. Um, she was involved with the Senate as president when I first came. She was involved with starting the Partnership for Student Success, which was a, a coalition of um, programs in tutorial areas that she helped spearhead while she was in the Senate in order to receive money from the state, basic skills money that was coming from the chancellor's office where I now work. Uh, the Partnership for Student Success has been a huge sort of central initiative at our college that has had broad ramifications across the state in terms of a, as a model. And so everyone involved with that partnership is very key in terms of helping us get embedded tutoring into our classrooms, having just widespread peer tutoring having a robust math lab. Pam Gunther is an extraordinary leader here on this campus, and she's, she sort of single-handedly helped uh, this campus get a math lab, and really she's part of the Partnership for Student Success. I can't state enough how avid, vivid, dedicated, energized, energetic our faculty are here, and our staff, and our counseling faculty. They just really are on fire for the mission of the, of the work and for our students and for also working with each other in real and authentic ways. And that's hugely important. It may not, it may not come across. It might be like, well, doesn't everyone do that? I and mean, the answer is no, everyone doesn't do that. And every college isn't able to do that for whatever reason. This college does that consistently. It's why we became the Aspen winner for the number one college. It was all around matters of culture when you really talk to the folks who came to, to interview everyone here. It was about our culture. Yeah, I really enjoyed all of my colleagues. I really enjoyed being with the students because even in the role as dean, I was able to interact with quite a number of students. and get involved with a number of programs like EOPS, our Equal Opportunity and Programs and Services, with foster youth, with, with a whole range of programs here, uh, with our assessment center that was part of what this dean role oversaw, the assessment center. And students, I wasn't the dean of discipline happily, so I didn't, I didn't have, I, I admire the dean of discipline is so hugely important, but that wasn't my walk here. So the students that I was with it was much more in the role of meeting them in classes when I had to visit classes, having them, meeting them in other contexts and, and inviting them to come and talk and, and inviting them to use me as a resource. And getting to know students through the faculty and through their performances in theater and in music and in graphic arts, just getting to know students uh, 
wants and their aims and their intellectual endeavors and their, and their struggles, getting to know more about them personally and working, getting to know some of our DACA students and getting to know the lives of our students and what it costs them at every level to be a student. It's not easy peasy, it was not a breezy proposition. So I really loved that. You know, one, one thing I think that we all champion in our roles as deans, and one thing I did champion as a dean was, was student success. It's really what we're, it's our mantra here. And all of that has very specific and concrete pieces to it, like tutoring, like embedded tutoring in classrooms. It's understanding that the students who are tutors are being, are, are benefiting as much as students who are being tutored because they're exploring and understanding a whole capacity in themselves that would be something new and that they hadn't experienced. Many of our tutors end up going into higher education, into master's degrees, or even to doctoral level degrees, and they're expressing a desire to go into teaching or education. Student success for us and for me in my role as dean was the, was the central focus, meaning asking students, what are your goals? Do you have a career that you want to pursue? Do you have a degree that you want to pursue? And how are we going to help you make sure that you reach that degree? This is monumental right now in the state. This is why we have guided pathways. This is why the chancellor's office is cascading through the field a whole range of funding in order to ensure that our students are actually finishing their goals in spite of huge challenges such as having to work, such as raising a family. Not all of our students coming here are coming right out of high school and able to, to focus full time and get right to, to a four year or to get to their degree and certificate. So student success was, was foremost with what we're all involved with. I think I'd like to be remembered as a uh, as someone who uh, was a teacher at heart and who approached that role, that middle, man that middle administrator role of dean, someone who approached that with a real desire to, to marry the intellect with, with the heart. And, and by that I mean who ha I want to be remembered as someone who apprehended the culture here and really championed the culture above all else for our students, for all of our staff, for myself, for faculty, for counseling faculty. I feel as though this culture, um, it's going to sound a little funny, but the culture called me here at a time in my life when it was crucial for me personally and professionally to say yes to that, to that invitation. And so I feel I was particularly sensitive to the culture. And I'd like to be remembered as a person of, of real integrity for the work and, and tremendous love for the work.